Good morning. Uh, my, my name is Sonia Sumaira Bintiwasari and this is my final year project title Spatial Distribution of Heavy Metal in Superficial Sediment Along Colonials and Cotton Waters This is my presentation outline uh, Introduction What is heavy metal? Heavy metal is atomic weight uh, and density 5 times higher than water uh, why it concern? Because of it can give effect on human health and the environment. Uh, the impact to human and living organ organism it can be cancer, birth defect, and immune system dysfunction. For the sources, it can be natural and anthropogenic. Uh, for the natural, it can from geogenic and atmospheric sources. For the anthropogenic, it can come from Industrial, agriculture, pharmaceutical, and domestic. This is my focus heavy metal: uh, copper, zinc, cadmium, mercury, lead, and arsenic. Uh, what is sediment? Sediment on Earth is most ocean bottom is covered. Uh, sediment also uh, act as sink for pollutants such as heavy metal, and it also can be a geomarker. Which is can monitoring and identifying the possible sources. <coughs> For the justification, why well, I'm choosing colonials and cotton waters, uh, this is because uh, at KNKT is having the development and high human activities, and why I'm choosing this type of uh, metal, which is uh, copper, zinc, cadmium, mercury, lead, and arsenic. Uh, this is because uh, most studied by researcher. And this metal also uh, dangerous is the concentration is above the background level. And this uh, metal juga, this heavy metal to predict to come from the human activity. My justification, and uh, justification is to know the level of pollution at can catty waters, and then can manage with suitable and efficient policy, and can conserve marine biodiversity while maximizing economic growth. My research question is, what is the solution of copper, zinc, cadmium, mercury, lead and arsenic in superficial sediment at can KT waters? Uh, and next, my research question is, what, what is the heavy metal pollution status in sediment at can KT waters? My, my, objective, my objective is to determine <coughs> The distribution of copper, zinc, cadmium, mercury, uh, lead, and arsenic at can catty waters. And next objective is to evaluate the heavy metal pollution status in sediment using the index of geocognition (IGO) and pollution dot index (PLI). For the hypothesis, pollution near the coastal water will be higher caused by human activities. And next hypothesis, the smaller the size of sediment. The high will be the metal contents. This is my study area uh, at the open sea, located at South China Sea. Uh, my sampling point received to eh, my study area received two main river mouth at Sungai Marang and Sungai Tengganu inside the red rock. And why I'm choosing here is because of uh, this area having high with human activity. For the method, uh, the sample collision, I am only collect uh, surface sediment using grab smith maker tire. For the laboratory pre-analysis, I prepare the apparatus and sample, and then drying sediment. Drying sediment and then including the grind sediment to the powder form. For the laboratory analysis, uh, I have to particular size analysis and heavy metal analysis. For the particular size analysis, having the dry sieving and lesser diffraction. For the heavy metal analysis, have technical bomb digestion. And then, and then next, proceed to ICPMS detection. For the data analysis, I'm using four data 
uh, ANOVA, Biasing Correlation, Pollution Status and GIS Software. For the ANOVA, I am compare heavy metal and between the sampling site. For the Pearson Correlation, I compare the metal and the size of grain size and the metal with metal. For the pollution status, uh, I'm using the Geochemistry Index, IGO and Pollution Dot Index, PLI. For the GIS software, I'm using for mapping the concentration of heavy metal. For the pollution status, IGO is to quantify and define metal contamination in sediment. Is the uh, formula using the background of a value for the metal. And this the table to uh, show that the uh, pollution class. For the PLI, uh, used to evaluate the extent of heavy metal pollution and detect overall pollution level of all metal. Is the formula and the table choosing at uh, the table that showing the pollution status. This is my expert outcome. The high human activity near the coastal water are might caused by pollution is <coughs> higher. And expert outcome, the distribution of copper, zinc, cadmium, mercury, lead and arsenic and cat waters might be higher if the size particle of sediment is smaller. And this is my gun chart. The sampling collection at October and sample preparation October, November, digestion November, December. The time releases, December and January. Okay. And it's my references. And that's all. Thank you. Okay, Yasmin Humaira. Which one? Thank you, Yasmin Humaira. Okay. In your introduction, you say that we um. Uh, next slide. Uh, before justification. Before justification. Ah, okay. Ah, yes, this one. Okay. One of the reasons why do you choose uh, copper, zinc, and mercury, lead, and arsenic is actually because of most of the metals is actually uh, above the background level. You support machine token. So you compare the background level mana ni? Uh, background level tu ambil compare dengan William Poe, 1976. Dia uh, background level ni dia uh, normal background level yang tak dipengaruhi oleh human activity punya sources. Adakah dia sama dengan uh, Concentration of metals in the earth crust <coughs> Earth crust kerap bumi Yes Betul Kau betul tengok? I think so Okay, no more question for me Method, <laughs> method Saya tengok adakah grain size yang semakin kecil menyebabkan metal tu semakin banyak Dan metal dengan metal tu nak tengok dia from the same source ke tak? Ini hipotesis from previous study ke ataupun macam mana? Macam mana? Itu macam hipotesis lah So macam dia buat hipotesis bahawa metal dengan grain size tu Macam mana dia? Dia cakap ni? Dia letak Macam mana? Haya Kalau lagi kecil lagi haya lagi higher. Ah, uh, So previous study dia statement dia macam itulah. You refer uh. statement tu based on previous study ataupun your assumptions. Uh, previous study. Okay. Uh, but I didn't watch it. So ada dalam aspect the outcome juga. Okay. Okay.
Tak boleh macam ni dah tahu lah Dia guna tu kan Okay tak apa uh, Lagi Ya ya tadi And then you have the potential sources Potential sources? Huh? Bawah tu kan? Huh? Uh, Pearson correlation boleh buat potential sources Ni dia uh, Metal versus metal nak tengok uh, Macam tu ada dua yang macam sama tinggi Nak tengok potential sources dia kat mana boleh ni boleh melihat menggunakan pearson correlation kan? Itu tujuan pearson correlation atau correlation potential sources. Uh, yes or no? No. Anda tak boleh buat tak sih? Kenapa no? Why no? Sebab kita just compare metal dengan metal, then kita akan cari ada kadai dari pada sos yang sama. Awak pernah dengar PCA? Hmm. Principal Component Analysis Awak ah, pernah dengar, tapi terbaca sangat <laughs> So biasanya potential sources ni kita akan buat PCA Principal Component Analysis okay. So correlation tu just a, uh, kita nak tengok hubung kait Antara yang telah metal versus size atau metal versus metal So apa pentingnya metal versus metal tu? Macam tadi nak tengok sos dia sama ke tak? Tak, yang tu PCA Ah, tadi dia PCA Yang tu dia PCA, sources Submetal versus metal So, apa nak Apa nak Outcome dia tu apa? So, metal versus size Yang tadi lah Yang has better outcome nanti ah. Tapi metal versus metal tu Apa dia punya outcome dia? Contohnya, plumbum versus aluminium Apa outcome? Apa yang kamu nak tunjuk sebenarnya? Hmm, nak cakap Humanitivity tu yang seperti aku yang first Yang nak tunjukkan humanitivity tu dia Humanitivity apa yang menyebabkan jenis metal tu boleh sama-sama Sama-sama tinggi Sama-sama banyak Oh, so dia relate dengan humanitivity? Tak Tak Check balik yang ni Okay Okay Okay, okay thank you Thank you Okay, next to Genta Taniru Oh. Blood of the Anagara. supervised by Dr. Ong. Today I'm going to present about my FYP proposal with the title of the levy, uh, level of hair metals in blood cocos, Anadara Garosa, collected from Sungai Buloh, Selangor. Introduction. Okay, background, background of study. Sungai Buloh is located in Selangor and in this area it is highly developed and dense in populations. So there are a lot of uh, construction that uh, including the officers, factories uh, and industrial buildings. Yeah. Then it might cause uh, pollution such as air pollution, water pollution, heavy metal pollution. This is because uh, the discharge of uh, water, wastewater will directly release into the river. And also some anthropogenic activities uh, that are uh, caused by tourists. Uh, Anadara granosa. Anadara granosa can be found naturally in Peninsula, Malaysia, and some areas in Sabah. Uh, Malaysia is the largest exporter of cocoa in Southeast Asia, while the Thailand is the major importer of cocoa uh, from our country because of their food culture. Yeah, you can look at this picture. Um, one of the blood cocoa's uh, farming in Sungai Buloh is located in Kampung Bagat. Yeah. And Anadara Ganosa is a filter feeder. Uh, due, uh, they will filter and eat the food particles from the water. And due to this uh, filter feeding nature, they, they can use as a biomarker or biomonitor to indicate the pollution status in the river environment. 
justification. From the Google Earth, you can uh, see that the Sungai Buro is highly polluted. This is because abundance of uh, pollutants is really, are released directly into the river. And why I choose Anadara Ganosa? This is because uh, it is a fa uh, famous, popular local cuisine in Malaysia. From this project, the level of hair metals in Anara Kalosa and the pollution status of Sungai Bulo can be determined. Health risk assessment. We want to ensure the level of hair metals in Anara Kalosa is unaffected to human health after construction. Yeah. These are my research questions. Uh, what is the level of he selected heavy metals, including the lead, cadmium, mercury, arsenic, uh, copper, and zinc, uh, in Anada Ganosa from Sungai Bulo, Selangor? How are the potential risks to human health after consumption? Yeah. From my research questions, I will link to my objectives, which is to determine the selected heavy metals in Anada Ganosa and also to estimate the potential risk to human health after consumption. Yeah. Uh, my hypothesis. If the level of heavy metals in Anadara Ganosa is high, then Sungai Bulo is highly polluted. Uh, the second is the potential risk to human health uh, are low uh, after construction of Anadara Ganosa from Sungai Bulo. Method. This is my study area, Sungai Bulo. Uh, sample collection and preparation. I will collect uh, 60 samples of Anada Ganosa from Sungai Bulo and keep them at uh, low temperature in ice chase. Before dissection, I will measure the length and width and also the weight of the Anada Ganosa in gram. Yeah. And for the dissection, I will remove the in total tissue of blood cocos um, and I weigh the tissues in grab also. After that, uh, the tissues will be uh, put into the oven at 60 degrees Celsius until constant weight. And then after the sample dry, I will grind the samples using mortar and pestle. And the mortar and pestle spatula will be cleaned by 95% of ethanol. Heavy metal analysis. In this analysis, it have uh, two processes which is digestion and detection. For digestion, I use 1.5 ml of nitric acid to mix with uh, 0.05 gram of sample powder and I use Teflon bomb method. Uh, I put the Teflon bomb in oven at 100 degrees Celsius for 8 hours and for the detection, I, the digested sample will be transferred into a centrifuge tube and then total up with uh, the ionized water to 10 ml. This sample will be analyzed using ICPMS with a blank and also a stand, standard reference material. St statistical analysis. I use special correlation coefficient uh, to determine the relationship between concentrations of metal and concentration of heavy metals and also I want to determine the relationship between the weight of anadara galosa and the concentration of heavy metals. I use one way ANOVA test because I have two factors to be considered. First is the uh, heavy metal concentrations and second is the weight of anadara galosa. Uh, PTWI, I use PTWI for my health risk assessment. Expected outcome, um, the level of heavy metals in anadara galosa is to be predicted uh, to be high but unaffected to our health. And the risk to human health uh, are minimum. And also uh, the pollution status level uh, is predicted to be uh, moderate to high due to the high concentration of parameters in the Anadara Brahmasa. As a result, it is uh, directly tied to the local effects uh, and such as um, the bu buildings of uh, factories, uh, industrial buildings and so on. This is my gun chart. Thank you. The references. Okay, you. Uh. Can you go to your sampling location? Huh?
example location. Location. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you have one sentence point only, is it? Yes. Then, is there any possibility that the sample you have collected is coming from one specific spot and the sample, is, sample size is not good enough to represent the whole river? Um, no, because uh, we will buy the samples from a uh, class A fisherman and we want to ensure that What do you mean by class A fisherman? Uh, below than 5, by, uh, five uh, non nautical miles from the shoreline because we want to ensure that uh, our samples uh, is really from that reason. Yeah. So you're talking about the boat, which they will go out from the river mouth, five nautical miles away from the shore to collect fish, right? Uh, it has nothing to do with Sunai Uh <laughs> Yeah. Right? Yeah. So maybe you can do it a little bit more specific. Pick one point out where you collect the sample from. Oh. Okay. Is there any chances that the cocker there is being imported from somewhere else? Uh, no, because as I mentioned just now, uh, Sungai Bulo is a famous uh, cocker farming uh, point, which uh, including the Kampong Badan that I mentioned just now, uh, aquaculture of uh, cocos. That's perfect. If you know there is a farm, why don't you go directly to the farm and harvest from every single different farm? Farm? Yeah. Uh, that would be even more accurate. <laughs> yeah, much better you yeah. collect your samples at the farm uh, at at the compost farm instead of yeah. go and buy from the local to be the the Because because their their location different spot. There's they 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 are they are they I mean no, they are staying. Well, the pollutants could be different. You know. Just a suggestion. <laughs> okay, thank you. So you have to have like a rainbow. Huh? River. Uh, river Because the river is for whole whole peninsula Malaysia. Because your sampling location is here, why don't you zoom in more, just focusing on this river, uh, discard all the other rivers. Then they go fuse. I can only match up. So you just focus on Yes. <laughs> Any other questions? Okay, thank you. Something that you're pretty good at ICBMS, <laughs> Kapudo. Because because uh, the air conditioner in the room is uh, malfunction and the heat will release uh, slowly. <laughs> so they open up and the heat will release fast, faster and That's the problem so that